Hey everybody, gonna do a little metal detecting out here today with my Tesoro Silver UMAX detector. Um, for metal detecting, what you wanna do is get into an area that has not been um, disturbed for as long as possible because that's where you're gonna find the oldest coins and jewelry. So I got this signal at about six inches down and I pull this out. Looks like a Seated Liberty 1882 then check out the back. You know, been out here hunting, discriminating past the zinc range because this is a pretty littered area, a pretty trashy area. And I uh, just dug this up out of this hole right here, about three inches around these tree roots. You can see these roots of this old stump behind me right there. And uh, check out this, people. 1952 Eisenhower dime. You can tell immediately when that comes out of the soil. It's not oxidized. You know, silver stays nice and bright. Pretty cool find. Check it out, people. Another really cool find today. Check this out. It's a British coin. Queen Victoria. Looks like three pence, 1850. Check it out. Just in back here of uh, residential suburbs, kind of a garden area. English three pence, 1850. Hey everybody, so I've cleaned up my finds over the past couple days. Check it out. Got a pretty neat um, buckle here. Did a little research on this. This kind of pattern of buckle, um, women's buckle would be from the, probably the late 1800s right there. And you could see there was a bar that was soldered on the back of that, but that's predominantly copper, it looks like underneath there. But really neat pattern in there. Check that out. Also found this brass buckle down at about six inches. So that's pretty old. Um, just some copper. Here's a part of a cap gun from the Smokey brand. You can see Smokey right there. That's from the 1950s, dated to about the 50s. Old kid's cap gun. Just some copper junk. Probably a medicine bottle cap. And just some clad. Did find a uh, bicentennial quarter here. Check that out, really good condition. Polished up really nicely with some baking soda. So that's in good condition. Some wheat pennies. But here's the really good stuff. Check it out, people. That's that English three pence cleaned up with baking soda. English three pence from 1850. Right there. Look at how well that cleaned up. Really nice. And this is the seated mercury dime. Check that out. 1882. This is actually an engraved love token, um, an actual 1882 seated um, Liberty dime, rather, Liberty dime, um, with the inscription, you know, and that's engraved, that is not stamped. And apparently these love tokens were very popular in the late 1800s, and the seated Liberty dimes were the um, predominant coin used in these love tokens but look at how that shined up just with a little baking soda really beautiful and got a 1952 Roosevelt dime look at that man that shined up in seriously mint condition so yeah that little Tesoro silver UMAX is really a cool detector it's a lot of fun to use I want to show you probably one of my coolest finds though and I found this a couple summers ago in a mud flat in a tidal uh, stream, in the elbow of a tidal stream. And that's a 1915 barber quarter. Check it out, people. It's one of that's probably my coolest find ever with that detector. Look at how that came out. Solid silver. Check it out. Hey everybody, please give this video a thumbs up. 
if you like metal detecting post your comments below and thanks a lot for watching it would be great to have you on board as a subscriber please click that subscribe link above and we'll see you real soon thanks for watching